for a walk in the forest, you said. I'd rather not, I said. Why, you said. Because we'll get lost, I said. Lost? Me, you said. Well, I'm not lost. We are. Don't worry about it. We're, um, here. Lost, are we? Hello. Hello. I said, lost, are we? I don't know about you, but we are. You don't want to get lost in Frightful Forest. Why not? They say it's a dark and terrible place, full of goblins and trolls and witches and things that gobble you up. Um, who says? They do. Who do? The woodland folk. If I were you, I'd get out of here as fast as I could. There's a path through there. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. But I wouldn't use it. You wouldn't? No. Of those that use that woodland track, many go, but few come back. You want the other one? Do we? Um, do many come back who use that one? Not too many, but more than those that use that one. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> yes, but hey, they don't come much stranger than that, do they? <laughs> hey, somebody needs our help. Come on, quick. Yes, but Paul, he said not to use that. Paul! Excuse me, madam, but I couldn't help noticing you seem to be in a little difficulty. I am. My bicycle's stuck in the mud. Allow us. Cycle, buddy. I haven't got one on me. Not yours, the ladies. Oh. <laughs> do you live round here, then? I do. I've got a cottage in the thicket. Oh, the thicket, eh? There's your bike. Talking of thickets. Oh. Excuse my brother. I think he's got a touch of Dutch elm disease. Oh, there you are. We'll be on our way now. Oh, I don't suppose I could ask you to help me home with it. I only live a short distance away. Of course you can. We never refuse a lady in distress. <gasps> you lead the way. Oh, you're very kind. Please don't mention it. Can I mention it? Not really. Here we are. <laughs> My name is Mrs. Cacklebury, by the way. Very picturesque. He means the cottage, not the name. Oh, this lock's very stiff. I won't be a minute. Yeah, I'll get Barry to have a look at that for you. Hey, Paul. Have you seen the name of the house? Gingerbread. Wasn't there a story about a gingerbread house? Where an ogre used to eat people. Will you stop going on about ogres? Does she look anything like an ogre? I don't know. What does an ogre look like? Well, not like that. It's a funny name for a house, though. Not really. Perhaps it used to be a bakery. Oh, right. Excuse me. Did this place used to be a bakery? No. I'm off. Ah, uh, oh, that's got it. Now, how am I going to repay you? A cup of tea would be nice. Of course. Come on in and make yourselves at home. Oh, be a good chap and take that round the back. So, they found you all right. Oh, that they did. One plumpish, the other skinny. There's hardly any meat on him at all. I'm sure he'll soon fatten up with some of your special stew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it is nice to have people for dinner again. <laughs> Tea? Oh, thank you very much. Five sugars, please. Oh, sweet tooth. I wonder what the rest of you's like. <laughs> That's right. You make yourself at home. <laughs> um, could I have a word with Paul, please? There's no Paul here. You must have the wrong address. Try next door. There isn't a next door. What are you doing out there? Trying to get in to tell you we've got to get out. You are out? No, I stumbled on something in the garden. Well, wipe your feet before you come in. No, I saw her talking to the woodcutter and she said, it's so nice to have people for dinner again. She wants to eat us. Rubbish. That's just a figure of speech. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Am I ever wrong? I felt all right again till you said that. Now, coming in. Tea's on its way. Don't you use doors? Uh, <laughs> wow! Look at that lot, Barry. Uh, very nice. 
You shouldn't have gone to so much trouble. Leave the lady alone. She can go to as much trouble as she likes. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You have a nice cream cake. Uh, I'll just have a biscuit, thanks. Ooh, you don't mind if I have this, then, do you? You help yourself. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. What's up? My biscuit's gone. What, already? That was quick. No, she took it off me and went upstairs. Oh, you finished already? Right, but you are a greedy guts. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> yes, but... I'll just go and wash my hands. Oh, it's upstairs on the left. Not on the right or the middle, but on the left. Right. No, the left. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Good day. For this recipe, take an equal amount of mushrooms to the same quantity of meat. Mm. Cats that mew and dogs that bark better not stay after dark. Right. Thank you. Come on, we're leaving. Yeah, we're not. I've not finished yet. You soon will be if we don't leave now. <laughs> what's the matter with you? I've just seen Mrs. Cackleberry on the landing. Well, what's wrong with that? It's her landing. Yeah, but then I saw her in the garden. But it's her garden as well. But I saw her in both places at the same time. Don't be stupid. You must be seeing things. But then she said, cats that mew and dogs that bark shouldn't go out after dark. Then I saw her carrying this enormous mushroom. It was as big as me. Nonsense. What's nonsense? <laughs> Barry here. He said he's just seen you out in the garden carrying an enormous mushroom. Oh, he did, did he? Don't try and deny it. I know what you're up to. Well, it's supposed to be a surprise. Shock more like. Well, it's for the village fate. I'm a bit worried, though, that you thought it was a mushroom. It's supposed to be a toadstool. Oh! <laughs> You didn't think it was real, did you? <laughs> oh, now you drink up your tea and I'll see what I can rustle up for afters. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get off. You've had your tea. Something odd about that. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Only two sugars. Forget the sugar. Forget the sugar. Okay. Pull! Oh no. Pull! Pull! Oh!
Oh, the rucksacks. Who's that there a minute? That's it. sure nothing happens to you. Yeah, well, I've only got one thing to say about that. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, that was close. What was? Oh. Hello. Hello. Warm. No, you're in a cooking pot. Ah, well, yes, and I know it looks like a cooking pot. That's Mrs. Cacodry was telling me. It's a Bavarian hot tub. Isn't that right, Mrs. C? That's right, my dear. Just a few vegetables. Ooh. Oh, careful of the shots. <laughs> Just give it a stir for me. Certainly. Mrs. Cacodry, you must stop this this instant. Why? What are you on about? <laughs> you must excuse my brother. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. No. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> he actually thinks you're going to eat us. <laughs> Me? Eat you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I've been a vegetarian these past 20 years. I don't eat people. There you are. What did I tell you, Valley? <laughs> but I do. Can you open the door? But she said cats that mew and dogs that... What are you laughing at? <laughs> He's laughing at me. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. 